So with each of these problems, I find, personal opinion, the best place to start is to factor. And that didn't really happen here because x plus 2 doesn't factor, x minus 2 doesn't factor, but I can factor this. So x minus 2 is the numerator. The denominator is x minus 2 times x plus 2. And if you look at that long enough, you'll realize what you could do. And I can cancel out x minus 2, right? And when I do that, and we've been through this, I'm left with 1 over x plus 2. All right, cool, fantastic. So I really am dealing with this, okay? But here's what just happened. I just marked out x minus 2. Okay, so if, if I was to say x equals 2, then you would say, well, okay, 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. I have 0 over 0. What's 0 divided by 0? Nobody knows. You can, you can argue all kinds of ways. You could say it's infinity. You could say it's 1. You could say it's 0. You could make all kinds of arguments. Mathematicians don't know what 0 divided by 0 is. It is undefined. Um, it is indeterminate. You could say it that way, too. So anytime you have a factor that cancels out, you're more than likely going to have a hole. So um, holes. I'm not going to give you a definition. I'm going to give you a way to find it. So factor, and then when a... Factor cancels, there is a hole where that factor equals zero. What in the world are you talking about, Mr. Reader? I'm glad you asked, okay? So we're going to come back and add something to this, by the way. Here's the deal. Where do I have a hole in my graph? I have a hole in my graph. Let's go ahead and start talking about holes in my graph. By the way, Desmos does not show up holes in your graph. Calculators don't either, generally. Um, you have to have it set just right, and it's just tricky. You have to know where it is. So a hole is when I crossed something out. Okay, what did I cross out? I crossed this out. I'm gonna set that equal to zero. So I have a hole at x equals 2, all right? So there's a hole in my graph at x equals 2. Now, that, that means that somewhere along this vertical line, there's a hole. I, I don't know where that hole is, and I could actually find out where it is, and I'm about to find out where it is in just a second. I'll go ahead and tell you it's at 1 fourth, 2 comma 1 fourth, and, and here's how I know. So I'm going to plug 2 back in. Don't panic about this part right here. F2 is going to be 1 over 2 plus 2, and that's going to give me 1 fourth, so I have, final answer, I have a hole at 2 comma 1 fourth. And again, I got that 1 fourth just by plugging in the x value that gave me that. So at 2 comma 1 fourth, I'm going to use a pencil for this, there's a hole. So don't put a dot. You actually would put a circle. It's at 1 fourth. That doesn't look like 1 fourth, but whatever. It's close enough. So let's do some x-intercepts. Let's do some y-intercepts. Let's do some horizontal asymptotes. Let's do a vertical asymptote. Let's do all kinds of stuff. Okay, x-intercept is where y equals 0. So what I'm going to do is say, well, this equals 0. All right, so 0 equals, let's not go here. Let's not go here. Let's go to the one that's been reduced, 1 over x plus 2. And we will cross-multiply. So we'll put that over 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times that is 0. 1 equals 0. That is a false statement. 1 does not equal 0. You lost your x. x is gone, so not true. And so there are no x-intercepts, which actually tells me I'm probably going to have an asymptote because I'm not touching the x-axis. All right, y-intercept is where x equals 0. So here's the deal. This is y. Tell me why. Sorry, couldn't resist. So y equals, don't use this, you fixed it and made it look like this, and you made it look like this. Okay, so here, here it is, f of x equals that. 1 over 0 plus 2. Well, that looks like 1 over 2, so 1 half. So I have a y-intercept at 1 half. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a y-intercept, y-axis, at 1 half. Right there. Yes, Okay, where's my horizontal asymptote? 
I don't know. What's the shortcut for finding it? There's a long list of shortcuts, which means it may not be super short. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna graph it, actually. And as I do that, you'll be able to logically see where the horizontal asymptote is. And I could graph this, but I'm actually gonna graph that one instead. If I graph this, it'll look the exact same as that, only there's gonna be a hole that won't really show up based on the resolution of the screen. Fantastic as Desmos is, it still won't show that up. So I'm gonna have um, one, over x plus two. There we go. This is what it looks like. And I'm wondering what the horizontal, you can't even see it. <laughs> I'm wondering what the horizontal asymptote is and there is a logical place to see where it kind of leveled off and it's right here. Okay, now you might look at that and say, well, that's the x-axis, I agree. Okay, so you could say the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis, fantastic. But what's the equation of this? In other words, if I was to draw this line, what's the equation of this horizontal line? This horizontal line crosses the y-axis, and it crosses the y-axis at, well, zero. So the horizontal asymptote is zero. And so if you were gonna graph it, you don't necessarily have to, but I would have a horizontal asymptote right here. I broke my pencil lead, no. I would have a horizontal asymptote right here on the x-axis. Well, that one jumped up. And then my vertical asymptote is where my denominator equals zero. Now, okay, here, here's the catch. It's not necessarily where my denominator equals zero. It's where my reduced denominator equals zero. Okay, so you could say, oh, well, you have a x-intercept, I'm sorry, you have a vertical asymptote at the opposite of this and the opposite of that. No, you cancel that one out, okay? So my vertical asymptote is, let's go here, don't back up, go to the end, and then it would be there. So x equals negative 2. There we go. And this is what my graph is going to look like. It's going to come down this way. It does this. And it skips that little guy right there. And it keeps on going. Never crosses that asymptote. It's going to get really close to that one as well. There it is. Isn't that neat? That's cute. That's kind of what I saw when I saw it on Desmos. <clears throat> okay, so my vertical asymptote is where my denominator equals 0 unless there is a factor that canceled. Then I ignore that factor. All right. 